here at Minute Maid with my guys, Big Hurt, Hall of Famer, Frank Thomas. There we are. See, we're just right out the baseline for you. There's Frank. Big Hurt is right there. Big Poppy, <laughs> David Ortiz, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. And these resilient Braves, there's a lot of things you can say about them. Alex, I'm going to say this. They weren't even a 500 team on August 1st. It's an incredible story. And, you know, the lesson is with all these great trends that are going on in baseball, it still proves the Atlanta Braves, by not giving up, having baseball people from top to bottom, it's been a beautiful formula with one of the most experienced managers in age and the most experienced baseball coaching staff in the game, Poppy. The job that they did by the trading line, bringing these four monsters, I mean, Endo losing Acuna early during the season. Look at who's here, right here. What's going on, playboy? Ozzy <laughs> Obis is here. Congratulations. Congratulations, though. Congratulations. Well, I want to say one thing. It's, you know, Sunday was a bad loss for the Braves. I had to give them credit the way they just came down here and took care of business. They won this World Series. They won two out of three in Atlanta. They won two out of three here in Houston. So this was an amazing feat for them. And, uh... You can just tell they were hungry and wanted this game. Alves, one of the things we've been talking about all month is the experience of your manager, Snicker, but your coaching staff. As a young player and one of the best players in the world, what does a guy like Ron Washington mean to you and your development? Well, for me and the whole team, it means a lot. A lot a lot of respect for him. He, he really prepares us every single day, no matter what. For each game, mentally, physically. You guys see us out here having fun. He's everything for our team. We love him. Oh, yeah. Bro, you a bad man. <laughs> Bro, listen, put it this way. You guys lose Acuna at the beginning of the season, right? They need a guy in the middle of the lineup that put it together. With a snap of a finger, they put you in a 30 and a 100. Come on, man. It ain't that easy. I know. It ain't easy. Come on, man. Yeah, it ain't easy. Uh, when they put me there, I had a conversation with Wash, and he told me, hey, look, all I can tell you right now is be ready mentally every day and go out there and have fun like you always do. Things are going to come good. They're going to be good. So just go have fun, and good things are going to be good. And trust what you do every day. Have the faith and go out there. And that's what I did. Well, I want to say I played for Ron Washington, so I know how he is. Yeah. He comes out with little drills every day, but he's amazing inside that clubhouse. He's one of the boys. He's one of the guys, but he knows how to motivate. And most people don't know that about him. I just want to hear from you, yeah. uh, his motivation and how he handles it in the clubhouse. He motivates us every single day, like I said. Every single day, it doesn't matter. If you have something on your chest, you want to get out, you're feeling, you're feeling bad or something a day, just go to him and talk. He, he, he's ready to answer your question and help you in any type of way so you can be focused 100% in the game. He's For me, he's the best. Ozzy, sometimes, you know, when you get dropped in the lineup or, you know, you get to sit on the bench, whatever it is, you know, you, it depends how you respond. So you get dropped in the lineup today, you've been one of their best players all year long, and you chose to respond by having two knocks and scored two big runs. You led the team in runs scored in the postseason. What was your mental frame of mind yeah, just coming into tonight? They told me yesterday we're going to change the lineup a little bit because we haven't got it done lately. I said, one thing I told them is, look, all I want is one more win. I'm going to do anything to help my team win tonight. That's all I want. Just go out there. and I'm, I'm going to be me, play the game hard, like always, and hope for the best. And obviously we... One, you guys see it, right? <laughs> well, oh, we see it, and you know we're going to let you go on Giant. Ozzy Albies, world champion for the Atlanta Braves. Thanks, Ozzy. Appreciate that. The Braves are world champs, and obviously Ozzy a huge part of that. That's my bad. See you guys. Yes, sir. Be good, Ozzy. Take care. There you go. I mean, it's, it's you know, we you always group those young guys together, too, right? Acuna and Albies. You talked about a Poppy Acuna goes out. Albies picked his game up over 100 RBIs for a second baseman. He was tremendous. A lot more to do on the post-game show here from Houston. This night belonged to the Braves in an easy one. Max Free was outstanding. It's been a long time, 26 years, but they raised a trophy. The battery, our friends in the battery going nuts. Nobody's sleeping. Let's go, ATL.